Hello there, Ivar by Ivar's Fly Workshop here. I'm gonna tie today for you guys an Icelandic fly called Molly or Copper Molly or Copper Copper Cube or yeah, some sort of like that. It's a copper made fly that reminds you a bit to Copper John and some other like Brassi and some <coughs> patterns like that. This uh, fly is originally designed by Gisli Thordason. And we will start by attaching the thread to the shank of the hook. Then we will take a large copper wire to form the body. And, and I like to place the uh, wire like when I'm placing it in the back. We have to leave though, like a little space in, the, in there so we can get the uh, hackle on. So a little bit of fast forwarding here while we attach the body, but it's like a yeah, like this kind of a job to get it as even as possible, and then we have to lock the wire in place with the thread. <coughs> it's done by a few few tight wraps, and then we'll helicopter off the wire. And it snips off like this automatically. It just breaks off. It's a really good way to to work with the wire in any any way. Uh, the next step is uh, by the original uh, pattern of the fly. We are supposed to use like a grey wool. Some people prefer to use uh, like a hair dubbing for the for the color of the fly, but we are sticking to the original pattern, which you can find in one of the Icelandic fly tying books. We'll just snip the end off here and then we'll just wrap the wool around and <clears throat> we have to build up like a place for the wool so it can sit in its place without sliding off or, or doing anything like that. So we take it a little bit to the back and then forward to towards to the beat of the fly and make it of course just like a slightly thicker than the body of the fly itself which is the copper made body and it's okay to like uh, like to take some tension on it before we lock it down and we will lock it safely with the thread like this with few firm wraps and then we'll just trim off the end of the wool and start to form the head of the fly this is actually a really simple fly to make and now we'll just do the whip finishing job snip off the rest of the thread and put some coat of varnish on it and that's it you may have to go with a bodkin needle and make the collar a little bit more hairy so it's like a little bit more fluffy than a normal fly so it's like a like a buggy buggy thing just smear on the varnish and that's it you have the copper molly here tied by me and it's a really good fly while while you go while fishing so yeah, the fly is ready. I just want to say thanks for watching. You may consider to subscribe to the channel, put a like on the video and share the video at free will. You can share it all around the internet if you like. And until next time, I will see you guys up and running and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.